The talk all week was whether Ole Miss would unleash its prized recruit quarterback Shea Patterson on the Texas A&M Aggies after Chad Kelly was announced out for the season. Patterson's red shirt is now in the dirty laundry, and the Shea Patterson era is officially underway in Oxford. Patterson going up against fellow backup Jason Hubenick filling in for Trevor Knight. Hubenick was rolling early. This touchdown pass is Speedy Noyle. Puts A&M up 21-6 at halftime. Patterson had the freshman blues starting off in this one, especially coming out in the second half. He's going to throw across the middle, and it's picked off. That pass intended a string fellow. But after that pick, showtime began, and he wasn't going to be that happy in a little bit. Look at this play by Shea Patterson. Looking like Johnny Manziel rolling out right. He's coming back to his left. He's going to pitch it to the middle and find a wide open Demarie Stringfellow. That's his first touchdown as a Rebel cuts into that Aggie lead. But a lot of help from his friends today. That's Akeem Judd. Look at this grown man rumble for 21 yards for the score. Judd runs for 100, cuts that Aggie lead even closer. Aggies would put on another touchdown, but there wasn't stop. No one, any, no one was stopping this kid. Shea Patterson, look at that pass to Van Jefferson. Makes it a two-point game. Aggies lead 28-26. The defense gets the big stop. Sets up Gary Wonderlick for the field goal. That gives the Rebels their first lead of the game. Last chance for AM and Hubenick. Hubenick's going to drop back. He's going to get a little uncomfortable in the pocket. He's going to throw across the middle to no one, and it's picked off by Deontay Anderson. And that's your ball game, folks. The Rebels scored 23 fourth-quarter points to upset the Aggies. Here's what head coach Hugh Freeze had to say about his stellar freshman. I've recruited this kid since he was a ninth grader. Um, and I've kind of known all along that he just had that it quality about him. And I, I leave very few high school games feeling like, you know, the kid's just a no-brainer. And, you know, I mean, we obviously have to develop them and take them. But I left the game. I, went, I get one opportunity to go watch him play. And, I left that game kind of with a man crush on him. But I just, I just saw a kid that, man, he had such poise and he had the mechanics are great. He can run, he can throw. You wish he was a little taller and all of that, but at the end of the day, the guy just makes plays and really doesn't get rattled by a lot. I would tell you if I was surprised tonight, but I really am not, just because how long I've, I've been around this kid.